Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Stardew Valley. Last time, summer began, we got some new crops done, and we were pretty successful on the farm, and then I did a lot of fishing and was fairly successful on that, especially with the new rod and getting to lose, use the lures, and um, the food that we got, that someone had gave to, or we got from something, I don't remember where we got that from, but... It is now time to complete these bundles because I have all the fish. And imagine that, that like three of the four fish you catch during the summer. But we have that. We've got a red snapper. We have a tilapia. So bundle complete. And our reward is... Oh, wow. Five warp totems to the beach. Warps directly to the beach, consumed on use. Now, this is actually really nice because I have to remember what you used to make them. I don't think it was anything too crazy, but... I always say, the beach is the hardest place to get to and the most time-consuming place to get to. We've got the, the mine cart rail that gets us to the other side of town, that gets us to the mine and the quarry. And then, um, you know, having a place that t warps you to the beach is really nice. Too bad there wasn't a rail or something else to get there, but we have those. The other place that's hard to get to is the spa, and that's why it's not worth ever using, because it takes too long to go there. So, it's cool that we got that. And to finish this bundle up... Um, we're going to put a sturgeon in here. The lake fish bundle is now complete. Reward is a dressed spinner. Another one of these, which is good because I think this is one level up from the other spinner that you could make. It just increases a little bit. This like actually increases the bite rate. And it'll be used because I think this will just be something I use when I'm just fishing in general uh, along with the bait. And here we go. So I wonder if this whole entire main room gets fixed, or just this little corner. Um, so many wonderful bundles, thank you, thank you. Because I wonder what... Okay, so it's just this little corner. That's what, that's what I figured. Because the bulletin board will have probably a little corner, and then it's probably when you finish everything else, it finishes um, this out. Can we turn this on yet? No, we can't. Oh god, what just cracked? Why did a tree just try and fall? Boom! Four of the five, which is hard to imagine. The melon one is so close. And this one is also getting fairly close. Oh, I didn't bring the fiddlehead with me. I have it back in my house. I'll bring it back when I get the truffle. That'll be in the fall. This will be in the fall. And probably won't get a rabbit's foot until the fall. And then this will be the summer. So, but we're getting close. So I'm so happy that this one was done. This was actually quicker to finish that than I thought. I wonder if there's any other fish in there. And there doesn't look like there is. All right. Well, it is getting late. I like this music, though. I just kind of want to hang out. Let's do it for a bit. It's getting late. So, yeah, another bundle complete. Only two of them are left. So we'll go see what that glittering boulder gets removed tonight. We'll go ahead and head out of here. I wish the music would keep playing, kind of keep the mood going. Um, yes, I haven't done the daily tasks on the farm yet. Shoot, I need to go ahead and do that. And I forgot to give, what's his name, the sweet pea. I wonder if he's still in here. Do I still have that? I do. I think this is the last day to do it. I wonder if Pierre's in here. It's not too late, is it? Uh, is that Pierre? Nope, that's Harvey. Dang it, Pierre's not in here. <sighs> oh well. That won't get done. <laughs> not a big deal, though. It would have been a nice 100G, but it really wasn't that much money. I just took it because I'm like, I'm sure I'll find a sweet pea. Okay, now back to the actual base to do the daily stuff before it gets too late. Good to know that lightning rods work even when you're not in your farm. Like, they still attract lightning just generally in Thunderstorm. Because I was in my farm for like 10 minutes and all of these are activated. So, those work um, off screen. Uh, which is kind of good to know. You can just put them in your town and know that they'll work whether you are in your town or not. And hey look, the pig finally grew up. So yay, the pig is finally grown. Um... Not sure how the whole truffle thing works. I'm not sure if it's inside. I think it's outside. Um, I think somebody commented that to me and said, make sure you let your animals out once you get the pig because the um, they need to like be outside to like find them, I think. So I'll probably start leaving this open tomorrow after I repair the fences. That'll be like the first thing I do tomorrow morning um, in my farm will be to repair the fences. Probably with just some 
basic wood. I don't think I'm going to do anything special. Um, not yet, anyway. Not yet. And wow, there's been... Everything was like ready for harvest today. Except for, of course, my actual crops. But those are going nicely. Um, let's see. Just sell all of these at this point. That's just... We're just going to sell all of them. And then the fiddlehead fern to bring in. Alright, time to sleep and watch them remove these glittering boulders. I never checked the weather. Let's check the weather. Oh, thunder tomorrow as well? Dang. Okay, well then my animals won't be going outside anyway. Greetings, it is I. Is this a new one? Trout soup? I think we've already done this one, haven't we? Something about a fresh cut trout that just gets me buzzing. Yeah, I already know how to do that one. And Strauss birthday tomorrow, but Alex's is not until after the Lua. Good to know. Okay, now we're going to sleep. Okay, they're putting their magic, as always. And sorry, I had to cut it. I have a grandparent's dog here, and that dog is nuts. It just barks, even when, like, my dog just gets up and, like, shakes its, like, shakes and, like, wiggles its collar, and it just makes a ton of noise. It barks and goes crazy. It's like, oh, my God, chill, brah. Just checking of all the stuff we got. Good. Alright, I don't know what that glittering boulder means, but it didn't even, like, smash it. They just did their fancy magic, so we'll have to go up there and see. I'm assuming there might be a cutscene when we leave the house. Clear and sunny tomorrow. Good. Animal spot like pig. Oh, here we go. Perfect. In these parts, pigs are trained to sniff out valuable truffles. You've got to let the porkers outside and be patient. They'll work their magic when they're good and ready. Make oil out of the truffles to maximize your profit. That's good. It knew I got one, and it told me. Um, so I do have to let them outside. So, of course, they won't go outside in the rain, but we will have to do that um, the next day. So let's go outside. Oh, we got a letter, at least. Come by the shop and check out the new rods I'm selling. They're the best money can buy, and you can customize them with different kinds of tackle. Hope to see you soon. I guess this just comes a day later, but we've already gone by and bought the new rod and the new tackle. So we already knew that was coming. Um, that's ready for harvest already. That's dead. That must have got struck by lightning or something. I'm uh, not sure what those boulders did, but let's just go take a horse ride up because I'm just really curious as to what they are. I mean, because what did they do? Is it a place for us to go? If it's a, it might just be like a new place for us to get to. So let's see here. We'll ride up together right now. See what it goes to. Oh, here we go. Cutscene. Oh, wow. Now it takes us all the way over here. Oh yeah, look, there it is. That is the fisherman. So maybe this has something to do with fishing. Obviously it would, it was the fish tank. Willie says, hi Mike. It's odd, I'm not sure what caused this boulder to disappear. This stream is flowing from deep within the mountain. Hey, do you see that glistening in the water? I do. Is it like one of those new fishing bubbly spots? Yes, that's quality ore. What do you know about ore, Mr. Fisherman? No, is this... Yeah, Willie's the fisherman. The flow of water must be carrying it out of the mountain. You know what this means, right? What am I, like, gold? Going for gold? It means we can start panning for ore. Here, I've got an extra pan in my backpack. Why don't you take it? You just carried a pan in you because you thought this was going to happen? That's interesting, but I'll take it. I'm going to take a new tool. If you ever see ore glistening in the water, use that pan and see what you find. Cool. You received a copper pan. I wonder if I can upgrade this. Well, now I'm back over here. Very weird how the cutscenes do that. Um, it's kind of buggy. So we have a copper pan. And I guess... This really wasn't flowing out of the mountain, it was just kind of a lake, but now it flows out of the mountain. So now there can be ore on just like any of the water anywhere in town, I guess? Which means I need to like look around and if I see some that I pan it, maybe it's just another way to get like treasures or something? I'm not really sure. So I guess I can't go in there. That was what this is, it just unlocks the ability for me to Pan for ores. Okay. 
Well, I guess we'll have to try this out. Finally getting artifacts from the ground again. Got ourselves a prehistoric rib. So that will go up here as well. And a new reward, how fancy. I also checked to see if you could upgrade the pond, uh, or upgrade the copper pan, and you could not. So it's just a copper pan and it'll always be that way. Uh, the middle part of the sloth skeleton. So I guess it's just slowly giving us the pieces of that and we'll be able to have an entire skeleton in our house, much like the parts in Animal Crossing. That's what it reminds me of. I've been, I've been going all around town and I haven't seen any glistening spots. It was kind of weird that I couldn't go back and pan there or I didn't get to pan somewhere as part of that cutscene to like show me what there is because I haven't seen any yet. And perfect. That's what I just had remembered. I was like, you know what? We need to get a rainbow shell because the only quest we have open is doing this. So we have to do that. I was thinking about that. I completely forgotten. That was another reason why we were waiting for summer. So we'll have to go drop that back in. After I go back, I haven't done the daily stuff yet at the farm, so that might be something I do later tonight um, if we still have time. But um, let me head back, do the daily stuff, get ourselves situated, and if I see any copper or any shiny spots, I'll be sure to update you guys. Otherwise, we'll be going to uh, work on the quest line a little bit. But first, something else I forgot about. I lied about what's coming up next. We're going to go ahead and purchase ourselves a rabbit since she's here today, and it's earlier in the day. So for 8,000, we're going to get the last animal we have yet to get. It's a rabbit, and we're going to go ahead and put it inside of the coop. Boom. Um, Facha. That's a rabbity name. I like the generated names that they have in this game. It's pretty good. All right, there we go. I guess I shear it. Like I do all the other animals, so we'll have to buy winter. We'll buy heaters for winter this year for sure, just because we'll have money and we'll need to spend it on something. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's check in here. It's been a couple days. All right. Let me go do the daily stuff now. So here's our little bunny rabbit hanging out there. It's got a little cute little white tail. So that'll grow up soon and. Uh, We'll be able to get some wool from that. Not sure if I shear it or it gets dropped or what, but we will figure that when that happens. I harvested the hay. I'm basically going to save all the hay and probably just brew beer out of the hay just for the heck of it. And yeah, so now I want to go back. Where are we going? I don't remember what I was going to do. Oh yeah, we're going to go drop this off and continue working on this quest line, which this is this will work out really well because while we wait for the crops to grow here before we can get the greenhouse, while these crops grow, we'll have the quest line to work on. Um, so we're going to do just that, and while that happens, I'm also going to... Yeah, while that happens, I'm also going to um, be looking for gold, and probably bring this fiddlehead fern over. Now nah, we'll just wait. We'll just wait. Okay, all this stuff needs to be sold. Alright, now... Now we'll go up. So just to refresh your memory, um, it was down at the. Um, oh, okay. It was at the um, the place down below. Um, oh my God, I'm lost for words. What? What is it? The the tunnel where the bus goes through. It was the quest line where there was the book in the library. It said there's a battery powered door in there. I popped the battery in and then. In it was this quest, and it's basically the same guy that's at the survival guild, and he's told us um, a, a lot about the stuff, like the whole quest line about going down in the cave, and some suspicious things going on um, are happening. And this is the first thing he wants: is a rainbow shell in here. You threw the shell into the box. Immediately, a note falls down from the rafters above. Well done. Your next task: place ten beets inside Mayor's fridge. Oh no. Ah. Uh, wait. Don't tell me beats. Oh, I was thinking of rhubarb. I was like, we just had rhubarb season. Don't tell me I have to wait a whole year to work on this quest again. I don't remember when radishes are grown. It wasn't the spring, I don't think. I'm almost positive it's not the spring. I don't think it's right now either. It might be the fall. If it's the fall, that kind of stinks. 
I would really like it if it was right now. Okay, well, I gotta try and remember what beats are. We'll go check his shop right now, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, that was kind of unexpected. I thought it'd be something a little more exciting than just having to go around and collect a whole bunch of random things. I don't see any glistening water anywhere. Where are you? Oh, there's some over there. We're going to go do this, our first panning of river water to see what this is all about. And then we'll go deal with this crisis that is beets. There it is. Okay. That's a cute animation. Wow, five gold ore, which is enough for an ingot, and then two omnigeodes. That's crazy. Oh, there's a bridge that was down here, and I walked all the way around. There's another spot up here. That was actually really good. You get some good stuff for that. I thought I'd be tied to fishing, but, like, new species of fish came out or something. Four copper ore. Okay, that wasn't as good. Um... Alright, well, now we know how that works. It's just something to look out for, I guess. With just like when you look out for the little worms and your foraging items. Just another time. Another object. And wow, it is late already. 35 copper ores. Probably not. <laughs> I don't think I've got that many. I'll check how many I've got back at my house before I go to sleep. Um, oh yeah, Piers is going to be closed anyway. Well... Well, I have beet seeds. It says plant these in the fall and it takes six days to mature. I'm not sure if these are just extras that I have for some reason, or they are tied to that. Maybe they were at that other place way out there. What was it called? That other shop in the desert might be what these are really from. Um, yeah, that might actually be what they're really from. So... It's a possibility. Um, whoops. Definitely a possibility that's where that's from. So, they're in the fall regardless. This means at least I don't have to wait a whole other time till the spring. That would have stunk. But maybe it's like one per season. Maybe you have to play a whole year of his quest line. Like, now we just did something in the summer. We did the rainbow shell. Then we're going to do something in the fall. Then we'll do something in the winter. And then we'll do something in the spring. And it'll just go around in a whole circle. And unless you've really stockpiled stuff kind of out of luck, which, you know, again, if you are a hoarder in this game, you can really have an advantage for completing this quickly. If you keep everything instead of selling it, now the only problem with that is you might at a certain point start advancing slower because you're not going to have the money you would if you were selling everything. So, I don't know, what are you going to do? Alright, well, we're on to the fifth of summer already. And hopefully it's finally sunny, so maybe we can get a truffle um, in the next day or so. So again, unless nothing crazy happens, uh, what we're going to do next is I'm going to be bringing the truffle and the fiddlehead fern to complete that next part of that one bundle. Okay guys, you saw that quest that I just got, and I figured um, a really good way to go down would be to death this. I've never used any of the warp totems before, and I'm really curious to see how they work. Because um, I'm assuming you come, maybe you teleport to these things. I know there's one at the beach, I know there's one here that's green, and then I know there's that red one that's over by, yep, that's over by the other place, I don't remember what it's called. Um, and then the rain totem, which I forgot was a thing... Um, would be useful at times, especially if you're trying to do something specific. Um, but yeah. So at this point, I'm kind of not sure what to do, because I know that this is kind of something that's not really happening at the moment. And I'm, right now I'm just kind of waiting, so it's kind of up in the air. Well, I could fish just to get my collection of fishing done. I could cook, get my collection of cooking done. Um, but I'm kind of like interested in maybe just like foraging and 
foraging some stuff, just trying to get my skills up. I'm not really sure I'm going to do combat. I could go to the other mine, get some iridium. Not really sure at the moment, but we're going to go look for a pufferfish. Alright, it is time for some teleportation. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, what? Now, is this because I teleported, or is this a cutscene with Alex? Oh, hi. Um, it's Mike, right? I think this is a cutscene with Mike, or with Alex, because of our friendship levels, but I hadn't even seen him yesterday. Or maybe it's because I got the three hearts, or two hearts, and I just hadn't gone to the beach since I got the two hearts. I'm just enjoying this great weather, Mike. I am too, that's why I'm coming to the beach to fish. Hmm, hey, go along. Heh, <laughs> nice try. I'm going to be the first professional grid ball player from Stardew Valley. There's no doubt in my mind. I'm already led my school's team to the regional playoffs. Now I'm just training and getting stronger so I can claim my spot on the roster of the Suzu City Tunnelers. You just wait. Thanks, Mike. I'll remember that. I guess it was just a cutscene, yep. Oh, yep, so there you go. You teleport to these things. As I could suspect. I guess I just had to come to the beach during a very specific time. To get, I guess, it's, I think we had decided it was like a two, it was two heart event, five heart event, and then like the eight or ten heart event. We saw Haley's. It was fun, even though I dropped it. Alright, well, I'm going to be doing some fishing. And it is going to be for a puffer fish, so wish me some luck. And uh, after that, I have a little surprise before the clock strikes um, four o'clock. So, gosh darn it! I don't know what what that piece was. It was a fish with a crown on it. So sometimes I think that this hook thing made it harder for like the super crazy fish because then it would like yank itself up to like stick with it and then it'd flap around and if like if I had complete control I might do better so it's almost like like it says on the thing that it would be better on slow weak fish but it's almost like a disadvantage when you have like crazy fish because I'm pretty sure I had a puffer fish I had someone super crazy and then I had that fish with a crown and I don't know what either of those were so all right I'm keeping at it Hey, there it is, and I was right, the one super crazy one was the puffer fish that made it difficult to catch, and just in time for me to get over by 4 o'clock to the other place. So, puffer fish, you appear to only be able to catch them during the, like, middle of the day in the summertime. Some of the fish stuff I've just had to look up online, because I just am really bad at it. Um, of, like, at least just, like, when to catch them. Um, but, oh, shoot, we're not going to make it. No, we're not going to make it. And sorry, my frames are bad, I'm like... Dang it, freaking piece of crap. Oh, we got there with like a second to spare. All right, I put my hoe in here a couple days ago in between scenes and an episode, and we go ahead and pick that up. Um, maybe he stays in here until four and just closes at five. Um, yeah, I'm literally doing like 50 things on my computer right now, and I can play the game at 60, but I can only record it in like the upper 20, so sorry if it's... A little jittery right now. I'm also compressing episodes and stuff because I've been recording a lot. Um, we have a gold hoe now. So when we get to about 10,000 again, I'm going to bring the next thing in here, which is probably going to be the watering can. If we get a rainy day, um, I'm going to do it. Um, but yeah, we'll go see how far this hoe digs, uh, which I'm assuming it's probably like 7 or 8 or something. So we'll head out of here. Yeah, it was open then. Okay. Um, let's see, do you think that this gentleman, Alex, would like a fish or a clam? What about a clam? Do you like a clam? Thanks, he does like a clam. And you, young lady, well, for dinner, you can cook this. Oh, she really didn't like it. Of course she wouldn't like a fish. <laughs> um, where are we going to now? 
we are going to deliver this to Demetrius. Speaking of, we should really try and be more friends with him. He seems pretty legit. So we'll bring this to him, complete this quest, and get some money. I'm not sure if these quests really have anything like special about them. They might literally just be like randomized and they just send them out or they're one time things. I'm not really sure. Um, hi there. Where is your husband? Where would he be at this hour? There's a basement down there. So much about this game, man. Oh, maybe he's down here. Oh, I forgot that was down here. Um, he usually like hangs out down here, yeah, and like stares into the distance. Well, let me find him. Oh wait. Oh jeez. There he is. Interception. There we go. There you are. The specimen looks perfect. I'm going to get it in the, on ice straight away. Thanks, Mike. You say the same thing. We'll try and become more of your friend. Alright, what did we get? Oh, 750G. Yeah, I forget. That's what I think it told me in the letter how much I was going to get. Alright, well that's done. And we're so close to maxing him out. I wonder if anything will happen when we get full level friendship with someone. I think it might be an achievement. But, we're getting there. Did we just get this? Because if we did, then there's probably some event with him we need to figure out what it would be but i haven't seen any more glittering spots in the water but all right time for me to head back because it's late and let's go test out this hoe oh yeah um we need to find we should just do this just because it's to complete your fishing collection um so this is some stuff i'll do off screen i'm going to do fishing in the forest rivers during the middle of the day to find a dorado and then I'll head to the ocean one time first thing in the morning to look for octopus. Um, I'll look for both of those because I have plenty of rainbow trout. And we get we just caught the pufferfish. So that is good to know. It's Gus's birthday. I don't know if I really care. It might be worth it though. Um, I could always just bring... Dude, he'd probably like a beer. Do I have like a pale ale I could bring him? Or... I could bring him a, pe a beer. I bet you he would love that. Yeah, I'll bring him a beer for his birthday. Just because I like seeing these, you know, these little clips that are up and coming. And these are so close to being ready. As are these. Just a few more days. And we'll have that done. Um, let's check out this new hoe. Because I know I have some of these seeds to plant. I just want to see how far this goes. Let's see here. One, two, three. Oh, oh, perfect. Oh God, no. I don't want to destroy the plants. Is there any way to cancel this? There's no way to cancel this, is there? Oh good, it didn't cancel. Oh, it didn't kill them. Oh, that's so perfect though. Cause that's exactly how we farm it. You farm in the little chunks. Well, good to know that the watering can will do that too, because then I can just stand here and do like the whole chunk at once. Um, so good to know that that is what that will do. I have yet to get a truffle. And um, from what people said, it, it happens outside. Like it has to like find it outside. So I need to let it outside and I need like more dirt space than grass. So I might actually take out the grass on this side and expand the fence a little bit. Um, because I want to have truffles, and it hasn't found any yet. Um, like, I don't think that there's any in here. Yeah, there's not. So let's expand it this way a little bit. It should be pretty easy to do. And happy birthday, Gus. Birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. And I hope that you do. Let's see what we got. Instant heart. I guess we had like nothing with him, but you know, one once you get hearts, it's relatively easy to keep them. I mean, look, Vincent, we hardly talked to him, we still kept it. So I was hoping we would get more than one heart though, but maybe that wasn't his favorite thing ever. It just might not have been. What do we have? Anything 
something special. Well, it looks like everything else, as we know, it will have to happen next episode that we tried to do this one. Um, but this was already... I didn't realize how long this was. I thought I had two episodes recorded, but this is the same episode that we did the Glittering Rocks breakthrough. So I need to go ahead and end it now. Um, I just did some more glittering of the pans, and I did a few just some walking around. I just gave and visited a bunch of neighbors, um, and that was about it. So next episode, we're going to get ourselves a truffle. Hope we're definitely going to have to get one. And then... Hopefully our melons and red cabbage will grow, and we'll get another duck feather. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. See ya! Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to check out another Let's Play I did, check out my Super Mario World Let's Play for the Super Nintendo by clicking here in the top left. If you'd like to check out my Minecraft server Avius, click here in the top right. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you like what you've seen so far and you have yet to subscribe, click the big banner below.